So, <laughs> that ain't even all of it. I've still got quite a bit to go yet. Well, Dad certainly managed to pull back that day. So, we managed to get a full side in. And he's made to start with this new little pillar thing that's going up, so. Right, good morning. As you just saw from our little loadout then, we've uh, been getting all set up already, so using these nice little uh, bricks to essentially replace this. So, I think if I remember right, it's all coming down. It's all going back up the same, but these panels are going up in brick. Is that right? Two angle panels up. So, obviously I think we're gonna try and uh, make that bond look a bit better too, but that's really the plan. T today's plan is to go try and get all this taken out and get at least the sides in. So then tomorrow we can just get them up. There's going to be a skip coming today or tomorrow. It's been ordered today, isn't it? So, yeah. So all the crap we're just going to put to the side for now and then the skip will, uh, will drop it off in the skip. But there you go. Not really much to say. Getting rid of this. Putting with these instead. So. Catch you in a bit. This is a bad, this is an example how not to do a porch. This is supposed to have a corner piece in here, which is what we're going to allow for when we build our brickwork. And don't know what angle they came up with, but that's not 45 degree, and that's not very weird. So we've got to cut, cut ours, same as they've done, but we're going to try and get it a lot neater than that. Um, no two then in because the house is getting rendered up to here, and then the porch is like a feature, brick feature. So like I say, the roof's staying in, we're just getting all this out of the way. But we're going to leave this in, but um, we might as well just take it out for ease of us building this brickwork. Yeah, you know, stick it on town, that's why we whip this thing down.
this is on what's your conservatory porch but conservatory as well definitely not to do a conservatory then yeah this is um having done conservatories for 14 years i know how it should be done for a start it should be 45 degrees which this obviously isn't don't know what that angle is and this one's even sharper and they've just done this horrible horrible cut on the on the corner and then just gobbed it up with loads of plastic trims and stuff and then on the inside skin look at that a load of is it i think that's bonding shitload of bonding and even more foam i bet it's warm no no uh, insulation though the cavity's not big enough for insulation no. that cavity must be what 30 mil So, and so, so like I said, this is coming down. This is going to be stepped back 70 mil to allow for the corner piece. And then same here, that's going to be stepped back 70 mil. It's going to be a small panel, but it's going to be right. So I think the robbers are going to have a look at this one when I give them a ring. So yeah, what's this side like, Al? Huh? Careful you don't take the whole wall down. <laughs> looks like it's a bit more solid. Yeah. But looking at that, it looks the same. Solid bonding in foam. Yeah. This is what we're up against all the time. So it's all, all the frames are out, it's all propped up. So, a um, oh, bit of waterproof in there. The cavity's uh, about 50 mil this side. I don't, it's just, it's just bad. So as I said, we're gonna have a quick break. I'm gonna nip off and get the sand and the blocks <coughs> from Fairwoods. And Alex is gonna start demolishing the walls. Piling it all over there, ready for the skip. So everything's coming down to oh. below the and concrete so we, we can't see any red bricks and these are our bricks like a handmade gonna look nice and then we're gonna do a recessed recess. joint yeah I'm not a big fan of recessing but you want to match the wall you want to match the bricks but we couldn't get these so um we've gone for something similar to the porch down the road and we're gonna recess it like that not much just a tiny bit just enough to to accentuate the, the edges of the bricks because they're all different shapes. It looks just look better than jointing. So yeah, as I say, it's just gonna be like a feature porch and the whole house is getting rendered next week. So we'll catch you after break. There you have it, that's one side down. It didn't really take a lot to come down, but well, I've got all that to get out to yet, but I just thought I'd show you the, uh, the damage report from back here. You got two tire wires holding the whole thing up. Um, or well, three, if you count the one on this side. As you can see, it's just not very gobbed up well at all. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do when we get mortar is get that gobbed up a bit. It's all very, uh, <laughs> rough looking <laughs> but um yeah so i've just got to get these ones out this course and the one under i think they said so i'll get the tighten out for that and i think if, like because the customer said do it exactly how it was but with these newer bricks and do it properly yeah uh, we're going to have to follow what was already here since we can't really we can't really do too much of that becoming an even bigger job then which isn't what we uh, priced for. The customer just wants a replacement. So I'll get the uh, I'll get the other side out first, and then I'll come back and get all the rest of this out. And oh yeah, the, this is it. We're not touching this. This is staying in. That's why I've not really touched that. Again, and there you go. Do that as well. Pristine brickwork at its best. Find these cowboys out there. <laughs> 
not even any screw ties in either so we're going to do that as well yeah. this side now i'll get you set up and we'll get this knocked out just like the other side look at that spectacular So, that ain't even all of it. I've still got quite a bit to go yet, but I'm just moving it all to this side onto the pallet for now, just so it's a bit easier to get to. And I'm not like, I'm not scratching up more of this con pattern concrete floor. So, hopefully, I think the plan is, probably tomorrow if it arrives, the skip is gonna go that side, I think. I'm not too sure, but it's going somewhere on here. And obviously we can, fill it up then with everything so we're just gonna get all the rubbish piled this side for now so it's out of everybody's way still get cars through still get the van on and we'll get the skip on eventually so there we go so once all this mess is cleaned up it'll be the titan to get those last two courses out and then i'll be ready for dad he's just gone off to fairwood to go get some sand and cement i think that's all but yeah so I've, I've realised how much I'm saying so now. I'm very sorry about that. Because <laughs> it just clicked in my head that I've said that like quite a good few times during that one little uh, video. Furthermore, catch you in a bit.
Right, the small victory of today is that with the damp course levels in, these uh, these bricks just do not like, they're not the best to cooperate with these bricks. They, uh, they suck all the water up straight away to make it really hard to set them and obviously because we're working off someone else's work it's never, it never goes straight forward so we've had to do a lot of cutting back, getting stuff, resetting stuff all the time so but damp course levels in so I'm gonna get a bit more damp cut and then Dad's just getting the new bond worked out because there's gonna be a, was it 70 mil? 70 mil step back yeah for a the corner post. A 70 mil step back for each corner post so that throws the bond again a little bit so Dad's just getting it figured out and we're just gonna do a job and knock with this mortar and just try and get as much as we can done as quick as we can so that's uh, a little update so far, we'll uh, get you set back up and try and get something done here.
Well, Dad certainly managed to pull back that day. So, we managed to get a full side in. And he's made to start with this new little pillar thing that's going up. So, there's how it works. Two brick. So, it's just a two brick pillar all the way up. So it'll hopefully be the same on the other side. But, we've also got set up on this side, ready for tomorrow. And, obviously, Rubbish is gathering up for the skip now. We're just going to do a bit of a tidy up and uh, get packed up so we can get back here tomorrow. Load up a skip and get a, get a little brickwork and blockwork knocked in. So we will catch you tomorrow.